my recent forays into the world of songwriting. I say recent uh, because, uh, as we were hearing, I was brought up in Northern Ireland, where, in fact, I suppose, um, born in 1951, uh, in the 1950s and indeed into the 60s, uh, needless to say, the 60s didn't quite reach Ireland until sometime in the 1970s. <laughs> so th there was quite, uh, we, we were forced pretty much to make our own entertainment. It's a little bit like five by 15. Um, not unlike it in that we had people around uh, for what we called a Cayley, uh, a get together. Uh, that's a tradition in the Irish and Scottish uh, cultures where people come around, tell a few stories, sing a few songs. Um, now, needless to say, uh, in, in the Irish tradition, uh, there is almost no distinction in many cases between the poem and the song. Uh, perhaps in many other cultures, the lyric poem was essentially, of course, a poem that was accompanied by a, some kind of musical device, uh, a lyre for the most part, some kind of harp. Um, so one of the things I've become interested in, though I'm primarily interested in trying to, uh, read, uh, to write and read indeed a few poems, I'm interested in that point where uh, the two coincide, where there's almost no distinction between the poem and, and the, the song. Uh, I was very much, uh, what would one say, heartened, uh, disappointed in a sense, but heartened uh, at the very start of the evening where we had a first-hand example of the power of song. We simply could not get it stopped. Uh, there's, something, there's something about that, uh, what happens when, when words, um, are operating not just to their own music, as of course we tend to think of them as doing, if it's all working in verse or poetry, but missing something, missing that other component. And when one's attempting to write lyrics, one of the things that one has to build in, um, and it's difficult enough if one thinks about it, is that missing component. Uh, so let me read, forgive me for, for appealing to, to the text, because I, I haven't learned these uh, as yet. So I, I'll do a little reading, if I may, and uh, I'll read one called The Word on the Street. It's still the party line, the official position, everything's still fine at 17th and Mission. It's all still sweet, it's all hunky-dory. But the word on the street, that's another story. The word on the street is we're quitting. Now our course is run. The word on the street is you're splitting. The word on the street is we're done. When the news first broke, the conventional wisdom was they found no coke in the cockatoo system. All still going a treat. We're just fine and dandy. But the word on the street is you're into nose candy. The word on the street is we've tasted the scarring of the flesh pots. The word on the street is you're wasted. The word on the street is we're shot. Now, it may seem like an odd thing to say, but uh, however uh, low pressure in terms of the pressure per square inch that might be, it's actually much more difficult, at least for me, to write that than it is to write the conventional poem. Because one of the strange things that happens if one thinks about it is that uh, having established a template for a verse, one pretty much has to stick with it. Now, that may have been true in other eras. <coughs> it's certainly not true in our era for the most part, even those of us who are interested in more, slightly more traditional, more um, conventional forms. So, um, uh, you forgive me, by the way, for those references to the drug culture. <laughs> you know, one doesn't really want to fall into that, even though, as you may recall, that waggish remark about, about uh, the difference between country music and rock and roll, country music having to do with uh, 
premarital sex and drink and rock and roll with uh, wait a minute, I've got this wrong. It was, it's very, you know something? It's very confusing. I think country music ha has to do with uh, extramarital sex and drink. Yeah, I knew it was one of those things. I've only heard of it. And, uh, and, the, and uh, then, uh, then uh, rock and roll with premarital sex and drugs. So anyway, there has to be a little bit, I suppose, in there. But one would like to think also that the modern song might be equal to something beyond the givens of, uh, of rock and roll. Uh, and that one might actually attempt to uh, bring something of the character of those songs that we were listening to earlier on. And one of the things I try to do, and I'm sure fail miserably, is to bring something of the uh, attempt to bring something of the ethos of um, some of the great songwriters, Cole Porter, um, uh, Ira Gershwin, Irving Berlin, something of that to, uh, to the Fender era. So this is the little uh, bridge, the middle eight of the song, uh, the equivalent, I'm sure, of the six uh, lines of the many uh, uh, sonnets. The trooper must have stated that official position when he pulled you over on Friday night. Even as he was charging you with possession, you insisted everything was ship ship despite the rumors they might float for the prevailing doctrine is still our little boat as a sturdy coxswain all's trim and neat. We're just super duper. But the word on the street is you try to buy that trooper. The word on the street is no one's talking, except maybe the cockatoo. It says the word on the street is you're walking. The word on the street is we're through. This might easily be a country song in terms of its title. I'm not quite sure if it manages it, though. You say you're just hanging out, but I know you're just hanging in. <laughs> I wish you'd leave your one bedroom, fly back to me directly. Even a crow will not presume to stick to the script exactly. You like to shoot straight from the hip when you're pouring a drink, and tending bar brings in the tips that pay for time to think. Your one bedroom on Bleecker Street, it's bathtub full of gin. You say you're just hanging out, but I know you're just hanging in. I wish you'd lose at least one layer of your obstinacy. Even a mule's a teamed layer, though its desk's a lot less laden. Tonight, Death Valley seems to run from Bleecker to Broadway. You're hauling borax by the tongue while I pay and display. You look like your own winding sheet held up by two clothespins. You say you're just hanging out. But I know you're just hanging in. I wish you'd find a way to chill, stop your exaggerations. Even a mole makes a molehill out of the nearest mountain. Your writing desk is barbed, wire, fenced. It's you against the word. But that's not all you're up against from everything I've heard. Your one bedroom on Bleecker Street, its walls are paper thin. You say you're just hanging out, but I know you're just hanging in. One of the things I'm interested in uh, that's perhaps not so obvious from the, uh, the, the poem uh, is the capacity of the, the lyric uh, to deal with that emotional charge that one might find uh, on a good night uh, in, a, uh, in a little song like that. I'm going to end with, uh, with one for um, Mitt Romney.
<laughs> now, I see that Mitt Romney, and I'm, I'm just reading this the other day, I was traveling the International Herald Tribune, a fine organ, and I see that Mitt, Mr. Romney, from whom we'll be hearing more, no doubt, uh, is willing to permit, now wait for this, enhanced interrogation techniques. Enhanced interrogation techniques against high-value detainees, among whom he would no doubt count himself. <laughs> so this is a little. Uh, what would he say? This is a little um, song, uh, which I suppose, if anything, deals with some of the. Uh, slightly inflated ways in which we use language, the slightly twisted ways in, we've come to, in which we've come to use some language. It's called Cleaning Up My Act. I was struck the other day, deeply disappointed, as I'm sure many of you were, as a, as a con committed Whole's Food, uh, Whole Foods uh, buyer, to, to hear all that stuff about uh, our, uh, the fact that uh, what one buys in Whole Food is really um, no, no better than the other stuff. Anyway, this is cleaning up my act. There are no gentlemen in a gentleman's club. A direct flight to Reno may stop at a hub. I flagged behind my flagon of Coke du Rhone. You'd passed out on the passion wagon when I asked you home. I told you it's a condo. It's a cold water flat. The tricks I've played are dirty tricks. That's why I'm cleaning up my act. Nothing is a problem to the problem child, though the issue of labeling sends me hog wild. I pick up the plot that thickens around a free range pig. I check out a fresh chicken to find it's been deep chilled. When did you last hear a kettle call a kettle black? I've been defiled by your sales pitch. That's why I'm cleaning up my act. For I was taken in by the identical twin of a pole dancer from Denver, my oh my. As for her skin, it was barely as thin as the pretext under which she asked me why there are no gentlemen in a gentleman's club, no room for nuclear families in a nuclear sub. A flight may run from Reno to the renal ward, a tall cappuccino turns out to be small. <laughs> Many's a mass of sugar sells itself as low fat. I'm hoping to be filthy rich. That's why I'm cleaning up my act. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.